on your mark. Get set. Go! It's ready, aim, fun as these two teams shoot the works and go for the bullseye. Which team will be off the mark and which will be on the money? There's 25 bucks in control of the game at stake on the show that's launched a thousand careers. Jim, we're trying to get $25 on the board and control. There, that's what we have to do. Who's going to get over there? The blue team is having a hard time. The red side now found the range. And let's see if we can work together and get some liquid in that container. First team to do it. Get past the line. There you go, blue team. Way to go. Got to get past the line, and then you'll get $25 in control. Run one. I'm getting clobbered up here. I can't believe it. There you go. Now the blue team is catching up. Red team is having a hard time coordinating it. Who's going to get past that line? We're going to find out in just a matter of moments. Oh, red side didn't get it up high enough. You need to hit that bullseye so it comes down and get some liquid in. There you go. Hurry up, Red. There you go, Red side. Now you're doing it, too. Back and forth. We're going here on Family Double there, trying to find out who's going to get control of round one. First team to get past that line. This is taking exceptionally long today. Oh, the range isn't quite there. Oh, that one didn't break. I don't believe it. There you go, Red team. There you go, Blue team. They're hitting them now. There's a Blue team again. Not quite past the line there. Red team needs to go a little bit further. I think the next one on the Blue side will do it, but I don't see it. Just a meat and potatoes guy from Indiana, Mark Summers. Hi, it's Family Double there. I guess that means Dobie Gillis will be on in just about five minutes now. Good grief, that took a long time, didn't it, Harvey? Oh, man, I, <laughs> that I was afraid we'd be here in a time for you to have to shave again. <laughs> I know, Harvey came in here, didn't have a beard. Can you imagine that? Well, anyway, that happens from time to time. We have great teams as always, though. Let's meet them, starting to my left. They call themselves the Gator Stompers. Well, they're going to tell you that it's not as easy as it looks as you sit in your chairs in your living rooms across America. Let's meet them by name. We have Kathy, Scott, Heather, Hi. and Ron. And uh, now, who's in charge of the slingshot on that one? I didn't see who was. You were, Ron. That's hard to do, isn't it? It is. You really have to work together and find the range there. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But you did well as a team and as a family. No money just yet. To our right, we have a team with $25, and they call themselves the Blue Angels. Yeah. We have Ron. And we have Desiree. Hi. And their nephew, Cody. Hi. And Deb. Yay. And I understand that uh, somebody over here does an impression of a dolphin. Who does the <laughs> dolphin impression? <laughs> Do you really? All right. Great. Is this a flipper or any particular dolphin that you Anyone. Know? Any flipper. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Deb doing an impression of a dolphin. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> okay. Let's hear it for her, ladies and gentlemen. A dolphin. <laughs> Gosh, it's, it's too bad the gong show's gone off the air, isn't it, huh? All right, they have money, and uh, we'd like to give this team some money. Let's carry on. I'm going to tell you the rules. I'm going to ask you a question, and if you don't know the answer or think the other team doesn't have a clue, you can dare them to answer it for double the dollars. But be careful, because they can always double dare you back for four times the amount, and then they would either have to answer that question or take the physical challenge. Good luck to the Gator Stompers. Blue Angels have control of this $25 question. On what TV sitcom would you find a ball-headed bailiff named Bull? It's worth 25, or you could dare them. He didn't answer. Dare. All right, now worth 50. You could take over on the lead. On what TV situation comedy would you find a bald headed bailiff named Bull? Night Court. You are right, it is Night Court. Add $50 over there. Stars Harry Anderson on, uh, on the NBC television network on Friday nights this season. What artist had hit songs with Just the Way You Are in 1978 and Down Easter Alexa in 1990? Could uh, add 25 or you could dare them. Dare. Now worth $50 to you. What artist had hit songs with Just the Way You Are in 1978 and Down Easter Alexa in 1990? Or you could double dare them back. Double, double dare. Now worth 100. You're going to take a physical challenge. Physical challenge. Oh, he's one of my favorites, and every morning on the treadmill, I jog to his music. Billy Joel did that. Billy Joel. We have a $100 physical challenge down here for you. Join us if you would. On this side, next to me, 
It stands to reason that being tall, that you may be involved with athletics. Am I correct in assuming that? No. You're not at all. Boy, see, now you shouldn't assume anything in this show. Good. So you're probably uh, good in school, right? Yeah. And uh, good in numerous other things as well. And, and have you ever had the urge to toss things at this lady right over here? Do you ever get angry and want to do that? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. It's all right to say that on Family Double Dare. So I'd like you to go over there and see Robin. And I would like you to come over here and help me out uh, in that direction over there. Because we are going to put a hat on top of you. And this is called Trash Head. And uh, why do we call it Trash Head? Well, uh, it looks a little bit like a clear uh, trash bucket. And when I say go, that lid will hopefully lift up. And over here, we have some trash that we found on Family Double Dare. And uh, gosh, we have some green peppers that are in some gook. And uh, we have some, uh, gosh, I don't know what that is. But anything that's solid that you find here, we'd like you to pick up and toss over there in that direction. And if you get three objects in that container in 30 seconds or less, we will add $100 to your score. Otherwise, the money will go to the other team. Ooh, is that a weird sensation? Well, let's see. Now, once we get started, you can start off at this line right here and then move anywhere that you want, forward or backward. Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go! Let's start tossing that over there. Whoa, not quite so hard. You've been doing a little bit easier than that. Oh, in and out almost. Lift it up there. That's the way to do it. So far, we haven't seen anything in there. There's one. We need to get two more in there for $100. They're working together as a family. Oh, yeah. Are we going to count that, judges? Yes, we will count that. So they only need one more object. Yes, they did it. They did it. They got three of them in there. $100 goes on that side of the board. I'm going to wipe off my hands, add $100, and let's play some more family double there. Well, gosh, you could have fooled me. By the way, uh, Scott was tossing those things. He looks like he could play for any pro basketball team, especially the Orlando Magic. But uh, we have $150 for the Gator Stompers, and they have control of this uh, next $25 question. The scissor tail flycatcher is the official bird of what state? It's worth $25, or you could dare them. Dare. All right, let's uh, carry on then and tell you that the scissor tail flycatcher is the official bird of what state, or you could double dare them back. Double dare. Okay, it's now worth $100, or you could take a physical challenge. Physical challenge. Would you believe it's Oklahoma? Gee, I didn't know that. We have a $100 uh, physical challenge for two different people this time around. Over in this neck of the woods. They often say cleanliness is uh, next to godliness, and we, we have a decision to make. Sometimes we ask the parents, I will ask you, uh, would you rather sit in this uh, shower outfit, or would you like to go over there and uh, pump the uh, crank? What would you rather do? Uh... I'll pump the crank. Oh, I'm so glad you said that. Go over there, Dad. You get to jump right into the shower. Uh, remember, it was her decision, so no allowance, I'm sure, for quite some time. But uh, we are going to put this gentleman right in our uh, shower and make sure that all of America sees him take a shower on national TV. It works just like a backpack, and you will notice that there is a container, and in here, I will tell you, is a water-like substance. And when you turn this crank, the harder you turn it, the faster this water will go down this tube. And this tube is connected to that shower head. And as you turn it, that shower head will then drop water down on top of a cup that Jamie is going to put on this gentleman's head and your dad will have that cup there now if you can fill it past the line in 20 seconds or less we are going to add $100 to your score otherwise it will go to the other team how do you feel about doing this fine oh yeah I kind of thought you would all right let's see if it works 20 seconds is what we have to do and uh, good luck on your mark Get set, go, turn that crank, and as you do that, that water's going to go all over. You want to get your head in the right direction there, sir. That's what you have to do, try and get it spilled past the line. That's the right idea. Turn your head down. I would turn your head down a little bit, sir. That's the right idea. Move it up, move it down, whatever you can. With four seconds remaining, they're going to have to hurry. Two, two, one. Stop right there. Uh, we didn't quite get it uh, past the halfway mark, and that means $100 goes over to the blue team. It was their decision to join in that way and uh, worked against them. We're going to add $100 to the Blue Angels, and uh, right now they could indeed add another 20 Well, no, they can't, because that sound means it's the end of round one, and with $150, the Gator Stompers have the lead. But at $125, the Blue Angels could come back and uh, take the lead themselves, because we have a $50 toss-up. We have a great obstacle course. You stay right where you are, because we're coming back with lots more family double there right after we do this. It's round two on Family Double Dare, and that means all the dollar values will be doubled. And if by chance you hear this, oh no, I'm just seeing if they could follow me. You hear this sound. 
<laughs> that means the game is over. Going for $50 in control of round two. And, you know, they say life is a bowl of cherries. They say life is just a bowl of cereal. And today on Family Double Dare, life is a bowl of spaghetti. And we have lots of spaghetti over here. And, uh, gee whiz, I just can't imagine having spaghetti without meatballs. And, boy, do we have some meatballs here for you today, folks. This is what they look like. In just a moment, you will pick one of those up. And you will launch that meatball in this direction. And hopefully, a member of your family will be there to catch four of them. Now, you must catch one in the air, drop it, two, three, and four. And then we have a wonderful sauce. Could it be pesto? Could it be marinara? Who knows? But we'll find out together in just a matter of moments. Fifty dollars at stake in control of round two. Wish them well. On your mark, get set, go! Let's send those over there. And the blue team does have one already. And now they have two. The red team has one. Our judges are watching over there to see who can do it first. And it looks like the blue team has one. Right there, they got stopped because we've added fifty dollars over here to the blue team. We can uh, ask them to uh, take a step right out here. Go, you want to help me, or you can do it on your own. It's up to you. Fine, come on up here. Let's play some family double there. Ah, that's funny. The Blue Angels got that one first, and they have added fifty dollars to their team score. And uh, in this round, it's fifty, one hundred, two hundred on a double there. Anybody's ball game here. Money gets really big, so let's carry on. For $50, Blue Angels, Ernest Hemingway won a Pulitzer Prize for which of the following works? Is it The Old Man in the Sea, or The Sun Also Rises, or Ernest Goes to Camp? <laughs> know what I mean? It's worth 50 or you could dare them. Old Man in the Sea. Yeah, that's right. Add $50. It is The Old Man in the Sea. <laughs> Up to $225. I'd like to know what European man-made barrier was erected in 1961 and torn down in 1989. Could bring it to 275, or you could dare them. Berlin Wall. You didn't answer. The Berlin Wall? It is the Berlin Wall. Another 50 added to your score. Not going to give up control here to the Gator Stompers, it looks like. Mikhail Gorbachev is the leader of the Soviet Union, or at least while we're shooting this show he is. Uh, what's his wife's first name? I don't know. Hmm. Things are changing there so rapidly now. Dare. It's worth 50 or you could dare them. Dare. And they did. Okay, for 100, Mikhail Gorbachev is the leader of the Soviet Union. What's his wife's first name? Or you could double dare them back. Need an answer. Ivana? Oh, that's, uh, that's Trump, I believe. It's Raisa. And uh, we're going to add $100 over there up to 375 now for the Blue Angels. And uh, they back into that uh, in a nice way. Oh, I think Ivana's got a lot more money than uh, Raisa, huh? What's the name given to any of a breed of large black and white dairy cattle originally developed in Friesland, Germany? Heifers? Oh, no, it's Holstein. And uh, the way you get a Holstein is you take two Halfsteins, you put them together. No dare at stake, no money changing place, and we have a, a $50 question over here. Thank you so much. Which of the following is not the name of a Nintendo video game? Double Dare, Paperboy, or Smell the Cheese? Smell the cheese. Yeah, it is smell the cheese. Thank you so much. Uh, add $50 over there. They now have 200 And you can actually play a Paperboy, and there is a Double Dare Nintendo game. For $50, name the woman who has won the most Academy Awards for Best Actress. Would bring it at 250 or you could dare them. Dare. Now worth 100 name the woman who has won the most Academy Awards for Best Actress, or you could double dare them back. Right. Double dare. All right, it's now worth 200. You're going to take a physical challenge. Physical challenge. It's Catherine Hepburn. And Ron, I think you knew that. I saw, yeah, I saw you said you knew that, but we have a $200 physical challenge down over here. All of you join me on this side of the stage, if you would. Get a little hungry out here. It's uh, around dinner time, and we have pizza. And why don't you go over there uh, next to the pizza boxes, and uh, you go over there and see Robin, because we have pizza all the time here on Family Double Dare. And let's show her what those pizzas look like, Jamie. We have, oh, nothing in there at all, but we will resolve that, because I want you to fill five of those pizza boxes. And how do we do that? Well, with your family. We have spatula number one, spatula number two, and spatula number three. And we have a chicken right here. We have a chicken in Harvey, why do we have this chicken? 
I don't know, Mark, why? Because this is a game show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and we have some pizzas about to come out of there, and that pizza will come out. You put it on spatula number one, and you ease it over to your sister, who will then put it on her spatula, and over there to your dad. And then you must take that spatula with that pizza, and put that pizza in that box. At the end of 30 seconds, if you have five pizzas in five boxes, we're going to add $200 to your score. Otherwise, it's going to the other team. Let's see if they can do it. Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go! Let's go. Let's get those pizzas going, and let's move on over. Nice try, though, family. Let's add 200 to this side of the board. Adds up to 575. Well, that's a tough one. Sometimes it works very quickly, and uh, that time they had uh, their troubles. And let's go with a $50 question to the Blue Angels. What revolutionary war hero regretted having only one life to give for his country? Well, you can dare them. Patrick Henry? No, it was Nathan Hale. Nathan Hale and no dare at stake, no money changing place. And let's move on to our next $50 question. Name the navigational instrument used for measuring the altitudes of celestial bodies. It's worth 50 or you could dare them. He didn't answer. Double dare. No, oh, it's only up to dare. It's now worth uh, 100. Oh, and that sound means it's the end. The answer is the sexton. And with $575, the Blue Angels have won today's game of Family Double Dare. Congratulations. $575 is a good amount of money. They're going to take that with them to the obstacle course. And uh, we have to say goodbye to a great team. They call themselves the Gator Stompers. $200. Nice uh, attempt at that last one. I wish you would have got it. Didn't happen, though. But Harvey always has great gifts for you, Harvey, don't we? Skechers lights up your life with S-Lights. Sneakers and boots that light with each skip, step, jump, and hop. Come play with Skechers and Kids Foot Locker. America Online with the Kids Only Channel and Nickelodeon. It's the most popular place online for kids. AOL. So easy to use, no wonder it's number one. It's coming right up. It's the Family Double Dare obstacle course rolling around the corner. Don't you double dare go anywhere. Family Double Dare, it's time for the obstacle course. And I'm standing here with Ron, who is going to do the lube job. And I have that car up about as high as it can go. We'll uh, get it down a little bit uh, in just a few moments. Hidden in there somewhere, I can't see it, is a flag. But I want you to turn around and see if you can see it and uh, see if you can find out where it is because all sorts of stuff will be dropping on you trying to uh, halt that from happening. But we would like you to win it because we'd like you to win this. Franklin's Amazing Word Master, Electronic Speller, Thesaurus, and Game Player. With a half a million synonyms from Merriam-Webster, Franklin, innovator in electronic reference. Hey man, like far out dude, let's go catch some rays, man. It's time for the wave slide. Ever been surfing before, Cody? Nope. I haven't either. I've lived in California about 16, 17 years, never done it. But uh, don't worry about surfing. Worry about climbing up the ladder and going down our slide. There's no twists or turns, some bumps though. And uh, oh, watch out for Jaws. He's right over there. And this one's actually working. There is the, uh, <laughs> there's the flag. <laughs> there, there's a number two. And uh, if you grab that, you can win this. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Strata Scooter with BMW style handlebar and the XP series skateboard with a more daring both in hot colors or graphics and it's from Veriflex. You're in the outer limits ladies and gentlemen. No it's just my tie and Rudy the gentleman who is the camera person here says he has some underwear the exact same color and uh, boy I don't even want to know about that Rudy. But drum roll please ladies and gentlemen here it is. Turn around take a look at it. You will be inside that and as you are uh, inside it you will walk in this direction. Follow me if you would please because once you get over here the reason you have a helmet on is because you may bump your head inside of there. Don't worry about that. Grab flag number three and win this prize. From Sportcraft it's Foosball. Exciting home version of the popular arcade game. It's the fastest soccer game on four legs with Sportcraft. You can't lose. I'm glad that you are doing number four because you have long legs and you must sit on that trike and come through this wall over here and then crash on through our second wall. Stand up, grab that flag quickly, and win this quickly. Gibson's Epiphone S310 electric guitar, made for musicians who demand quality in every detail. Designed by and from Gibson USA.
Number five is the ringer you will dive on through. A member of our staff will help push you through with the crank. If you get stuck, all that will be all over your body. Stand up, grab number five, and win this. Each family member will receive Magna Mountain Bikes. More power to climb and accelerate. Magna, the hot new name on the streets, distributed by Dynacraft Industries, Incorporated. Number six is inside out, and what we want you to get out from the inside of that balloon is a flag, and there is only one orange one in there, and if you find it very fast, you'll move on to seven, but let's find out what you'll win here. This time, it's Magnavox's three-inch portable LCD TV. It's smart, very smart. Watch it anywhere, anytime, even outdoors from Magnavox. Waving to the folks all across America, we have the ant farm and uh, climb up the ladder, come around. Wait a minute, what is that? That is the, what are you doing up there, Harvey? Hey, Mark Babe, how you doing, sweetie? <laughs> Mark Babe? Yeah. <laughs> We're in the showbiz capital of the world, aren't we? Orlando, Florida. <laughs> okay, we'll do lunch later, Harvey. Okay, come over here and uh, stick your hand around there where that flag is. It's number seven. Come out over here. Don't let Harvey bother you up there. He'll come down too and uh, we'll win this. It's Snark Sea Devil Sailboat. Features a full 70 square feet of sail on a popular solution. Great. Sea Devil is easily car topped as she weighs a mere 55 pounds. For easy economical sailing, the choice is snark. If you had the opportunity to go to the moon, would you actually uh, accept that challenge? <laughs> Probably not if it looked like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it looks like that, but there is a flag buried somewhere in there, and I'd like you to find it. Because if you come out of this piece of uh, moon and uh, have that hand in your, uh, the flag in your hand in 60 seconds or less, Harvey, what's the grand prize today? It's a fabulous new car. The Ford Thunderbird LX, take your family for a cruise in the new Ford Thunderbird LX and experience the T-Bird legacy with its six-cylinder, five-speed manual overdrive transmission from Ford Motor Company. Here's what the course looks like, and as always, it is neat, clean, and dry, and we will uh, change that in just a matter of moments. Good luck to our contestants. Audience, cheer them on. 60 seconds on the clock. On your mark. Get set. Go! Alex, find the flag in there. He seems to know where it is, and he's going over to number two, which is the wave slide. Here goes Cody, seeing if he can uh, make his way down. He's going to have to pick up some speed. Drop roll is next. He's out front of three. He went sliding into the ocean. Watch out for Jaws. There it is. Let's move over to three. And... 42 seconds remains on the clock. Coming up to the icy track. Tell us everything that they won. Mark, including the TV, it's a prize package of almost $2,000. Prize package of almost $2,000. And boy, did this family get slopped up. But you know, the family that gets slopped up together wins lots of prizes and lots of money here on Family Double Dare. Did you have a good time? Yeah! We always have a great time here on Family Double Dare. I hope you did, and I hope you join us every Saturday and Sunday night on Nickelodeon at 7.30. We hope to see you here. Thanks for watching. Good night. Bye-bye. This is your announcer, Harvey, saying, join us back here next time. And, you know, you're beautiful. Don't ever change, okay? I mean that. See ya.
Anyway, we have just 10 seconds to say goodbye. We'll see you uh, tomorrow. So long. Bye-bye. Yeah. We got we, five seconds. Oh, no. We have three, two, one. Bye. Bye.